As the complexity of software development process is increasing continuously, the software testing approaches needs to evolve to keep up with the development approaches. Now, agile testing is a new age approach which focuses on testing smarter rather than putting a lot of efforts, yet it delivers high quality products. Hi everyone, this is Shantini from Edureka and in today's session we will see what is agile testing. Now, before we begin the session, Let's have a look at today's agenda. So first we will see what is agile testing and then we will move on to the different principles and then have a look at the different advantages of agile testing. After that we will see what are the different methods involved in this testing and also the life cycle. Next up we will have a look at the different test plan and quadrants of agile testing and finally we will discuss about the big companies using agile testing in today's world. So let's get started. So what is this agile testing? Now agile testing is basically a software testing process that follows the principles of agile software development. Now agile is basically an iterative development methodology where requirements evolve through collaboration between the customer and self organizing teams and agile aligns development with the customer need. It is not sequential but a continuous process. Now this methodology is also called release or delivery driven approach since it gives a better prediction on the workable products in short duration of time. So let's move on and have a look at the different principles of agile testing. Now the first one is that testing is continuous. Now the agile team tests continuously because it is the only way to ensure continuous progress of the product. Then we have the continuous feedback as well. So agile testing provides feedback on an ongoing basis and this is how your product meets the business needs and also satisfies the customer requirements. Then we have the tests performed by the whole team. Now in a traditional software development life cycle only the test team is responsible for testing but in agile testing the developers and the business analysts also test the application. Next up is the decreased time of feedback response. Now the business team is basically involved in each iteration in agile testing and continuous feedback shortens the time of feedback response. Then we have the simplified and clean code. So all the defects which are raised by the agile team are fixed within the same iteration and it also helps in keeping the code clean and simplified. Next is less documentation. Now agile teams use a reusable checklist. The team focuses on the test instead of the incidental details. And finally, we have the test driven. Now, in agile methods, testing is performed at the time of implementation, whereas in the traditional process, the testing is performed after implementation. So, these were some of the principles that are followed while performing agile testing on any software. Now, let's move on and have a look at the different advantages of agile testing. So the first benefit is that it saves time and money. Now with the help of agile testing you get to know about the problems in your software in the earlier stages and this saves a lot of time and money as well. Next up is the documentation. So agile testing basically reduces a lot of documentation involved in the process. Then we have the flexibility and adaptability. So agile testing is basically flexible and highly adaptable to changes. So you would not face any trouble if there are any changes that are to be made in the software during the process. It also provides a way for receiving regular feedback from the end user. So the more amount of feedback that you receive the easier it becomes to solve the problems and also meet the requirements of the user easily. And finally there's better determination of issues through daily meetings. So there are daily meetings happening for the agile testing that lets you know about the whole process and also the improvement that is happening. So these were some of the advantages. Now let's have a look at the different testing methods for agile testing. Now there are various agile testing methods. So first we have the behavior driven development, then the acceptance test driven development and finally there's the exploratory testing. So the first one is the behavior driven development. Now the behavior driven development improves communication amongst project stakeholders so that all members correctly understand each feature before the development process starts. 
Now there is continuous example based communication between the developers, testers and business analysts. Now these examples are called scenarios which are written in a special format. The scenarios hold information on how a given feature should behave in different situations with different input parameters. These are called executable specifications as it comprises of both specification and inputs to the automated tests. Next up we have the acceptance test driven development that is the ATDD. Now the ATDD focuses on involving team members with different perspectives such as the customer developer and tester. So the three amigos meetings are held to formulate acceptance tests incorporating perspectives of the customer development and testing. So the customer is focused on the problem that is to be solved. The development is focused on how the problem will be solved whereas the testing is focused on what could go wrong. The acceptance tests are a representation of the user's point of view and it describes how the system will function. It also helps to verify that the system functions as it is supposed to. In some instances acceptance tests are automated. Now moving on the final one is the exploratory testing. Now in this type of testing the test design and test execution phase go hand in hand. So the exploratory testing emphasizes working software over comprehensive documentation. The individuals and interactions are more important than the process and tools. So the customer collaboration holds greater value than contract negotiation. Exploratory testing is more adaptable to changes as well. Now in this testers identify the functionality of an application by exploring the application. So the testers try to learn the application and design and execute the test plans according to their findings. So the process goes like this first you learn then you design a test and then execute that particular test and then finally you analyze the test results. So these were some of the agile testing methods that you need to know about. Now moving on next up let's have a look at the life cycle of agile testing. So the life cycle of agile testing consists of five different phases. So first we have the impact assessment then agility test planning then daily scrums then agility review meeting and finally release the readiness. So in the first phase we gather the input from the stakeholders and users and this will act as feedback for the next deployment cycle. The next phase is the test plan meetup. Now here all the stakeholders come together to plan the schedule of testing process meeting frequency and deliverables. The third phase is the daily stand up meetings. Now this includes the everyday stand up morning meeting to catch up on the status of testing and set the goals for whole day. Next up is the agility review meeting. So weekly review meetings with stakeholders meet to review and assess the progress against milestones. And finally the last stage is the approval meetings for deployment. So at this stage you review the features that have been developed or implemented and are ready to go live or not. So this is the life cycle that is followed in the process of agile testing in case of any particular software. So now that you know what is agile testing and also the different advantages and how it actually works. Let's have a look at the test plan for agile testing and also the quadrants. So first let's talk about the agile test plan. Now in agile testing the test plan is written as well as updated for every release. So the test plan in agile includes the scope of the testing then the consolidating new functionalities that are to be tested. Then we have types of testing or various levels of testing and next up we have performance and load testing that needs to be performed on your software. Next we have the consideration of infrastructure and then we have mitigation or the risk plans where you have to know about the risks that might occur during the testing. Then we have the different planning of resources and finally deliverables and milestones because you need to deliver your product as soon as possible in order to meet the requirements of your customer. So this is the plan that you must follow while performing agile testing on your software and also in order to deliver an error free software. Now talking about the agile testing quadrants. These basically separate the whole process in four quadrants and help to understand how agile testing is actually performed. Now for the first quadrant that is the agile quadrant one the internal code quality is the main focus in this quadrant. It consists of test cases which are technologically driven and are implemented to support them. 
So it basically includes the unit tests and the component tests. So here we have the various unit tests and component tests and also this is the automated quadrant. Now the agile quadrant 2 contains test cases that are business driven and are implemented to support the team. Now this quadrant focuses on the requirements. The kind of test performed in this phase is the testing of examples of possible scenarios and workflows testing of user experience such as the prototypes and also pair testing. This can be automated and manual as well. Now the agile quadrant 3 provides feedback to quadrants 1 and 2. The test cases can be used as the basis to perform automation testing. Now in this quadrant many rounds of iteration reviews are carried out which builds confidence in the product. So the kind of testing done in this quadrant is basically the usability testing, exploratory testing, pair testing with customers, collaborative and also user acceptance testing. Now moving on to the final quadrant, the fourth quadrant basically concentrates on the non-functional requirements such as the performance, security, stability, etc. Now with the help of this quadrant, the application is made to deliver the non-functional qualities and the expected value. Now in this quadrant, the kind of testing done is the non-functional test such as the stress and performance testing. Then we have the security testing with respect to authentication hacking and also infrastructure, data migration, scalability and load testing. So now that you know why we need to perform agile testing in our everyday life, Let's move on and have a look at the big companies that actually use agile testing for their software. So let's have a look at some of the big names. So there are Cisco, Sky, Philips, Vistaprint, JP Morgan Chase, IBM and many more such companies that use agile testing as one of their methodologies. Now Sky might be a household name famous for its satellite TV, broadband and telephone services, but the media provider is almost making a name for itself in software development. So the company which has launched products to combat the likes of Apple's TV box has been placing agile methodologies and open source at the center of their software development approach. Not just that Philips has also adopted the agile principles. Now after numerous changes to management structure, the firm introduced several agile coaches that went to deploy scrum principles such as scrum boards and breaking down teams into smaller ones. As a result of changes like this, teams could react to situations quicker, bureaucracy was removed and it was ultimately easier for these smaller teams to take responsibility for their respective products. Not just that, Vistaprint is also the go-to marketing company for small businesses. Now the company performed some analysis of their existing waterfall methodology and found that teams were taking more than 60 days to move from the ideation phase to product delivery. Now the 60 day cycle only amounted to 40 hours of actual work. The company looked further into why this was the case. It transpired that unclear decisions and long creative lead times were to blame, all of which resulted in feedback loops. That's when they moved to the agile testing. This is also the case for JP Morgan Chase. Now a few years ago, the baking giant overhauled their business processes to help improve product development and simultaneously slashed the cost of training as part of a high profile IT initiative. Now agile methodologies were a key part of that particular initiative. So that is all about what is agile testing and why exactly you need to perform agile testing on your softwares and also how it works in our daily lives. I hope this session was helpful and you understood how agile testing works and what is it all about. Don't forget to check out our playlist on software testing to know more about different types of testing involved. Also, do let us know about your opinions in the comment section below. Till then, thank you and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!